Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today we're going to start the super stuff, Sadi Gimel. We are going to begin on Sadi Gimel and off by the new mission at the top. Misha Yenosu Yisholosh Noshim. A person was married to three different women who makes and the man dies. And now, of course, we have a ksuba, or actually three in which need to be distributed. So the problem is that the ksubas are not exactly the same in the amount that he has to give. So ksubasa shel zu mana, vishel zu mosayim, vishel zu shel shmeyais. One of them was $100, one was $200, one was $300. Now Rashi points out right away, ushloshten nechtemu biyomechad. It has to be that they're the exact same date on the ksuba. If the documents, if the ksubos were written on different dates, then we automatically will honor entirely that earlier ksuba. So here it has to be that it was the same time. Now here's another problem. The Mishnah says he only had a hundred. So how does he divide it? So the Mishnah says Chalkin Mishabe. It should be divided equally. Because all three women have an equal claim to that hundred zuz, that hundred hundred zuz, because even the one who has a hundred, so she's technically she'd be getting all hundred. So therefore, we divide it equally, which means thirty three and a third. We're going to discuss why that's the case in the in the, in the Gemara. That seems quite logical, actually. But how you show Messiah, it could become more problematic in this case. Let's say there's only two hundred. So Shomana no tells Khamishim. The one who has a super for a hundred, she gets half of that, which is fifty. Shomasayim Vishel Shoshmeh Zahov. When it comes to the woman who has the Ksuba of two hundred, and for that matter the woman who has the Ksuba of three hundred, they'll receive Shloisha Shloisha Shil Zahov, which is basically the equivalent of these three dinri zahav is equivalent to seventy five Zos. Because each golden, each golden uh, sh uh, coin of um, din re zahav is equivalent to twenty five. As a rashi says, "V'chol din re zahav esr v'chamisha din re kesef," as is brought down in Perka Zahav in Bamatzia. Regardless, we're gonna have to understand why that's the logical thing to do. <clears throat> but just push it. You can just say it like this. Well, the first one, she gets half. Question is why she get half? Maybe she only should get thirty three and a third. Everyone's gonna ask that. But then there's only a, there. So each so she gets fifty and there's fifty one hundred and fifty left. So therefore they split it seventy five each. How you show shalosh meyes? Let's say there's only three hundred zuz in play. So shalmana no tells chamishim. This one almost sounds the most logical. Everyone gets half of the of what their ksuba says. The first one gets fifty. The second one gets a hundred. The shel shel shmeil shisha shel zahav, and she gets a hundred fifty. So fifty, hundred, and hundred fifty. Again, the Gemara is going to have difficulty why that is fair. V'chein gimel shehetil kis. So too, the same din is if you have three individuals that are involved, as Rashi says, by contributing money likno schayil sachar. They're involved in a business deal, and they put in different money as initial investments. So, pichasu ohosiru kachin cholkin. Whether we're dealing with an increase or or a decrease in the uh, in the business deal, if they made money, they lost money. Everything's split evenly. Says Rashi, kol echad echad noitol b'schar dev kafi lefim oisav. So Rashi says it's according to their money. So we'll have to understand what that is as well. So now let's understand the middle case again. The middle case is there's 200 zuz. So he said, <coughs> what we do is we give 50 to the first one, and then 75, 75. Why does the first one take 50? Just like the ratio of the Mishnah, she should get 33 and a third. Because the... Hundred dollars is the first hundred dollars in question, as we said. They split it evenly, thirty-three and a third. So therefore, we should say that that first hundred is the only money amount of money that she's entitled to, and it gets split up. The next hundred that is something she's not entitled to, and therefore, 
the second and third wives should actually get more. So the Gemara gives two Tirutzim. And this is actually going to be question seven. Question seven. Mishoi nasa shalosh nashim mumais ksuvasho shal zu mana vishal zu masayim vishal zu shalosh meis, which is what we said is the case. And if he has 200, almana notels chamishim. Madua notels chamishim vuloi shlish mana. She should get 33 and a third. So those are the two questions. Two, two, there's two answers to this question. We'll see now. So interesting shot. Omer Shmuel, he says, it must be because seven balls must sign with balls mana, that the second woman, who is really entitled to 200, wrote to the first woman, who is only entitled to 100, Dinu Devarim Enli Imach Bamana. I am not involved in the first hundred. And therefore, what? Since she is Masalik herself just from the first hundred, so therefore, now there's only two people, the first and third wife, who have access or or are the are the people that are involved in splitting up that hundred. So therefore it's split 50, 50. Well, her, that's what it should be. And that's why she gets 50. But again, the problem is, um, why then is it 75, 75? Why is there only 25? There's only, there if it's 50, 50, which is her, what it is. So the, the shot is that she only removed herself regarding the first one wo for, for the woman so instead of it being split 33 and third each what happens is the first woman gets 50 because it's 50 50 and when she's out of the picture now she comes back and says okay there's 50 left we're splitting that evenly and therefore each one gets 25 and then of course the second 100 is split 50 50 so it becomes 75 each yachim is safer shomasayim is shosholish meyos shosholish shosahav so I already explained this. You already removed me now. You already removed yourself. So her, you should only get the second woman should only get fifty. Only Dinavarim who the Salik Nafshoi. I only basically re, again removed myself from her Dinadvarim. And therefore, says Rashi, Kisha Tavoy Ladin will orib imach bimana hamashubid lach. So again, the, the basic way to understand it is that she only said for the first hundred, divide it among the two of you until you're out of the picture. And therefore you get 50 and now there's 50 left. And now we're going to split that 50 because now I didn't make any deal with the third woman. So I do want to be part of that cheshman. Okay. So that is one answer. We're going to see a second shot in a second. But first we see the safe. So the one who gets uh, 200, the one who has Exuba 200 gets 100. Just like the previous case, she should only get 75. It doesn't make any sense. If we're talking about the same situation as the ratio, so when it came to $200 in play, or 200 zoos in play, so she got 75. So that's what she should get here too. The fact that there's a third hundred dollars, a third hundred zuz, her ksuba is only for 200. So that third hundred should automatically go to the third woman. Therefore, she, the third woman should get 100 and then 75. And the other one should get 75. It shouldn't be that she gets 100 and the third one gets only 150. So I'm going to shmuel because seven is bala shalish meos bala mosayim so the third, the, the safe is talking about where the third woman was Masalik herself. She removed herself from the first hundred dollars. So therefore, if you think about it logically, again, it's the same thing. So the first, the first woman will get 50, as we said, because there's only two players, two people involved. And the second one will also um, get, uh, will get 50. Now we look at the second 100, and there's only two people, so that's split. So therefore she gets the first, out of the first 100, she gets 50. And the Balas Masai, the woman who has the Ksuba, 200, gets the an extra fix, next 50 for the 100, the second 100. And therefore it's 50 plus 50 is 100. So therefore the third woman, she only removed herself from the first 100. But the second 100 she did not, so it's split. And she gets 50 for that, and the full 100 was 150. So it's 50. 100, 150. I hope you got all that. So that's answer number one. 
Rabbi Yaakov and the Harper Koyin Mishmid and Rabbi Yaakov no. Reisha b'shtei tfisos b'seifa b'shtei tfisos. So he says, actually what happens is there was two different times that, let's say, money came into the into the picture over here. So that's what it's talking about. It says Rashi, Lo tukma b'koyseves el b'shtei tfisos shetavsa metaltal neksuvasam. That there was two times that Matalton came into the Ksuba. It came at two separate times. How does that help? <coughs> so the Gemara says like this. Reisha, which again is not talking about the Reisha of, of the Mishnah, which is the hundred. That's very simple. He split it 33 and a third. There's no argument about that. The middle case is Bishtei Tfisos. Well, there's 200 total. It means that Nafla... Shivin v'chamisha b'chad zimna. What happened was there was seventy-five that came the first time, so therefore it's logical it should be split twenty-five each, twenty-five, twenty-five, and twenty-five, because all three women were entitled to that seventy-five. And then it was a mayav esrim v'chamisha b'chad zimna, and then we have a hundred twenty-five that comes um, a second time. Says Rashi. So balas mana. Kvar Gavta Chafhe. She the first one already got twenty-five. Who boss Lariv al Ayin Hey. And the argument was about the seventy-five. She she is seventy-five short. Hilkach Ayin Hey Mishubadim Lakulana. All of them are entitled to the seventy-five. And we divide it. Haribiyad ko achas chamishim. Vamoyser in Lobal Smana Chalikba. So Hainu the Kamer Shel Mosayim Shel Shol Shmei Shol 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 Zahav. So therefore, again, it's twenty five each, and then um, because of that, there's twenty, there's an additional twenty five that she would be potentially able to get. So therefore, she gets that extra twenty five, so she gets fifty total, and then because of that, now there's a hundred left, and it's split. Seva b'shtei tfis. So it's the nafla shiva v'chamisha b'chad zimna. Again, they get twenty five each. And then there's the second time, there's 225. So in this situation, again, the first woman will get the next, next 25, so it's 50. And then we have um, 200, um, we have an, an additional 200. So in that situation, it's split. So the first, so the second woman gets, um, it's, it'll be split the, the second part. So therefore, each of them will be entitled to, to the 50, and then another 50 for the second one, and then an additional um, 100 total. So it ends up being, again, still 50, 100, and 150, but it's a different way of reading it. Zim, uh, uh, zimna. Tanya zu mishnas Reb Nasen, Reb Nasen, Rabbi Oymer, ain't any roya devarv shal Reb Nasen. I don't see the um, interpretation of Rav, Rav Nasen, Rabbi says that it should all be divided uh, equally. <clears throat> so if we look at Rashi. Of Ain Ani Roa Devarv Shal Rab Nasan Beelu, Shain Zed Daimel Shloisha Shatil Kis. So we said that when it came to the kiss, uh, everything is maybe it's split up or is it divided equally? So Rashi says there is a shibud. All the possessions are connected to the ksuba. All three hundred are mishibudlu mabalas mana. The the balas mana really has a right to collect from any of the money. It doesn't matter if it's three hundred, which of course she can't, she's not going to get three hundred. But all the money is mishibud to that same ksuba. Kishar chavrosaha. Ad shetigba kol ksuvasa, lafika cholkas b'shava. So the mother woman who got twenty five from the third of the seventy five. Now, when we have another one twenty five, we don't say she only is meshubed to seventy five of this money, rather all of it, and therefore she should get a hundred. That's the idea behind it. Okay, Omer Shmuel. Actually, let's let's look at the, how he writes question seven. Myri b'koi. Seves balas mosayim lo balas mana, ain li machvamana, or myrish nafosh de tvisos, 
75 one time and 125 the second time. Okay. The chain shloisha shehitilu. So too when it comes to a business deal. And people put in different money into the investment. Omer Shmuel. Shnaim shehitilu. So let's say you have two people involved in a business deal. One put in a hundred, one put in two hundred. So they didn't put in the same amount of money as we continued in Sadi Gimelman base. So Hasakar le Emsa. It says that the reward, the profits are split. Says Rashi Chok and Mishabah. Split evenly. Omarabah, Mistabra, Milse, the Shmuel. It's logical when Shmuel says it's divided evenly. If you have an ox, let's say they purchase as partners an ox and its purpose is for plowing, and that's exactly what it does. They do with it. It says Rashi, In order to be able to have this ox do its job, you need let's say it was 300, so you needed them both to contribute for this thing, so otherwise you wouldn't be able to have it. Let's say you have a situation instead, Back, let's go back in the Gemara actually, if the animal was initially for plowing and it, the value of its meat went up, and therefore they shafted it, so in that situation, now it's being divided according to its limbs. Therefore, the one who put in more money should be the one that will get more. And the one who put in less will get less. Says Rashi, Even though their intention was to divide it evenly, and all of a sudden they change their mind because the meat is very expensive. So that's the Kiddush. So even though the initial intention was it doesn't make any difference. <coughs> At this point, it's divided according to... <coughs> according to <coughs> it's divided according to the person <coughs> who put in more money gets more back. <coughs> All right, that is Shmuel's din. Now, Shmuel makes this chiluk. He says, it doesn't matter. It's still divided equally, even if <coughs> this animal ends up being shechted. So he doesn't make any distinction. He says it doesn't make any difference. Okay, so... Basically, the Gemara asks a question. Based on, it says a So it says clearly that if you have two different people to put in money, that it's divided. It's still divided evenly. Well, the only time it's going to be divided evenly um, is if it was. Uh, which is mashma, maybe therefore the case which is not talking about is of Shoa Kharisha Umu Tvicha Mai Zen Nitla Fima Isa Zel Fima Nitla Midas Maisa. Everyone gets according to the amount that he put into. So I had a tiny safe uh look of Zebishlova Zebishloi. Why does it say in this totally different case that Lokach Zemishlo, this one took it says Rashi Shvarim Briam Bamasayim, this one took um, healthy oxen for 200, and this one took uh, weaker, uh, 101, this Arvu. They should just say it's talking about the same animal, and Zen Naitl Lafim Oisa, Zen Naitl Lafim Oisa. So why do we say that case? It must be a Raya that it doesn't make any difference. That the din is that not only if it's Oymad Lacharisha, but even if it ends up for Tficha, the same thing, it's so it's going to be split evenly. So, so therefore, it's a kasha again. So, so, you're right, this is actually what it means. 
Over Bashoil Kharish, Alam Smicha, Nasikmi, here's that's a Nasikmi, it's Kiilu just like Shalakha Zebishlo Zebishlo. It's like they brought in different types of animals, one fatter, one weaker, one stronger. Vinisrabu Ze Vinisrabu Zenoitlofim Oisa Zenadlofim Oisa. So it's not necessarily conclusive proof either way. Tanan. The Khain Shlaisha Shatilu Kis. So it says in our Mishnah that if you have a situation where you have three people that put in different investments, it says, Beferish pichasu o hosiru, if it went down or up, kachin chok, and that's how it's divided. Maila pichasu pichasu mamish, hosiru hosiru mamish, says Rashi. But katani kachin chokin. It says this is how it is divided. Lafi hamois utiyofte de shmuel. Lachara, it's a question on, on shmuel, because we said, According to Shmuel, that the only time the din is that it's split evenly is if it's for the same thing. It's oimel l'charisha. However, if it would be oimel l'tficha, he says it's all. It's not divided evenly. But l'chara, we see over here from our Gemara, our Mishnah, that that's not the situation. The um, the loss in profits. Are proportional to the amount invested, unlike Shmuel, who says it goes uh, equally. Okay, so Amar Rav Nachman, Amar Rabba Baravua, Lo Hosiru Lo Hosiru Zuzi Charati Pachasu Istira Ditsuniso. When it says that uh, it went up or down, it means increased with new coins, and Pachasu went down is referring to that referring to currency that is not in. Circulation. Let's look at Rashi. <clears throat> so let's go back to Rashi. So it's a tiyufta de Shmuel, as we said. It's a question on Shmuel that makes a distinction between oimel acharish and oimel tviha. Mar says no. We're talking about zuzi charati, new coins. Hilchach says Rashi in the middle. Cholkin lefi hamois the cholchad maidiyoyv shakel. You basically take your coins back. That's what you put in, so you can put it back. And when it says went down, it's talking about these coins that are not in circulation. Yoitzin Basella Shell Hatsinus. So it says um, referring going out with a coin um, on a bruise. Mafarsh might see this Bas Ara di Kivan di Eshnu Bain Noita Ko Echut Kekeshman Shahetal. So in that situation, since it really doesn't have monetary value, so you just take back what you put in. If let's say a person went down 150, each one will lose their amount. It's all split in the middle. Okay, we're going to stop there. It's a little challenging piece, but let's, hopefully some of these uh, questions will help clarify it. Question 8. Omer Shmuel. Shnaim Shatil Kis Zeman and Zemasayim Haskar Emsa. He says that the reward is in the middle, which means they divide it evenly. So Kashim and Masnisin did not give a shatilu a kis pichaso esiru kolecha v'naitlofiya moisa. It doesn't sound like from our Mishnah that's divided evenly. It sounds like it's divided proportionally. So in this, mas, our, the Mishnah is talking about shepichasu o hosiru when it says that it's divided proportionally in our Mishnah, is it means hamat ba'ois, shehin be'enam, the whole echad shakal ma'diyoyev. The coins are still here, so they can take back whatever they have. Shmuel mari b'schar ha'molacha. Shmuel's talking about the reward for the work. Okay. So that is one way of framing it, and that's how he answers it. It's all totally on the schar molacha. Let's see if maybe Rashi uh, elaborates on that. We did that already. Okay. Let's see. Maybe there's a couple more questions. TA 17. Shnaim Shatil Kis. Zem Manim Zem Asayin. The local shore. And they bought a shore. So Heich Mishale Kaschar. How do they divide up the schar? So this is a more cleaner question. So if we're talking about a shore, L'Charisha, V'Oymed L'Charisha, everyone says it's Oymed L'Emsa. If it's a shor l'charish v'oymul and they end up divin- divining out the meat, 
It's a machlokas if the schar is divided equally, or they take with the mo'isav. And it says in parentheses, the tfich of oimid, the tfich of shita, the lafi mo'isav. Ayin toisus. Okay, so that was TA 17, which basically just explained the machlokas between Shmuel and Rabham Nuna. Shmuel says it's, and everyone holds, b'shor et l'charisha, v'oymed l'charisha, that in fact it is schars b'emsa, which is chok and b'shav, as Rashi says here. However, according to Rav Hamnuna, Rav Hamnuna says no. He says that even in the case of shol charisha, v'oymed l'tvicha, schars b'emsa, even then it gets divided up evenly. TB, 18. It's split in the middle. So 18. If the meat went up in value, and you shakhtu and you shakhtu it, machlo kasatka.